what an honor to make dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So my dear respected brothers, this is the month, wallahi, yani, dhikr, dhikr, dhikr. So many authentic ahadith. La ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lah, lahu mulku wa lahu alhamdu wa huwa ala kulli shayin qadir. Whoever says this 100 times, 100 times is rewarded, is rewarded as if he freed 10 slaves and 100 hasanat and 100 sayyat are taken away from him and he is protected from shaitan until the evening and nobody on that day, nobody on the face of the planet is better than him except he who says it more. Except he who says it more. Imagine you got 10 bucks, man, 10 bucks for every time you said subhanallah. Wallah, you'd be a madman. Brother, what's wrong? Wallah, he won't answer. There's 10 bucks coming in. 10 bucks is coming in. Yeah, imagine what's waiting for us with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Making dhikr is, is wallah, it's a special thing, my brothers. It's about being connected to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So please, inshallah, I want this month for you to be like a month like no other. The Prophet of Allah Azawajal says that there are 12 Sunan prayers in the day. 12 Sunan prayers. Wallahi, if you're not doing them now in the month of Ramadan, then when are you going to do them? He says 12 Sunan prayers. Two before Fajr. Two before Fajr. Four before Duhr. And two after Duhr. Yeah? Two before Fajr. Four before Duhr. Two after Duhr. Two after Maghrib. And two after Isha. He says whoever performs these ones, Guaranteed for him is a palace in paradise. And you didn't pay a dollar for it. I don't want to boast, man, but when I prayed the I was like, yeah, palace in paradise. Rasulullah doesn't lie. Rasulullah doesn't lie. You know, today when Abu Ali and Abu Ahmed buys his house, he's happy. He's happy he bought a house. Wallah, it could be on Ribaha. It doesn't faze him. Why? Because uh, I own something, man. Yet a palace in paradise is passing you by every single day. And I let it go for free. So inshallah ta'ala, I don't want to take too much of your time. Inshallah ta'ala, we need to start these things. And wallahi, don't be shy, man. Go to the bookstore, grab, you know, the fortress of the Muslim. They have afkar for everything. Af yani afkar for everything. Subhanallah, walhamdulillah, wa la ilaha illallah. Make salat ala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Be busy, man. You're on the train. I'm going to work. I'm in my car. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm doing something that sort of I can't really do anything. Make it. You don't even have to be in wudu. Make the dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Clock up the figures. And set yourself goals. Set yourself goals, you know. Make istighfar. Make istighfar. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, minimum, minimum. In one hadith, he says 70. The other one says 100. These figures were to say that a lot. Seeking forgiveness from Allah azza wa jal. So inshallah ta'ala, I'll leave you with this. And please pass this message on. If you go home now and you teach whatever you've learned today, then whenever that person says it, you will get the rewards.